Hello everyone, welcome to Tony Talks. Nobody's saying do not jackpa, but what I'm saying is that before you do, you should count the cost in as code and calculate in a manner as you can because it is literally a jungle out there. In Nigeria, you can just turn up at your friends or family's house uninvited for a visit. You can even turn up uninvited to stay with your family. You can't try that abroad. Your brother may call the cops on you. They are very individualistic. It may take a village to raise a child in Africa, but in Europe and America, children often have to raise themselves because both parents work and weekends are spent at McDonald's cinemas, football games, or museums. And since children are not taught to appreciate family bonds, parents grow old and are dumped in an old people's home so their children can live their lives without the inconvenience of caring for them. Family and communal life are treasured in Africa, but it is not encouraged in Europe and America. Many children do not even know their cousins. A cousin in the West can be divine as a stranger you see, if at all, at weddings. And neighbors can die in their homes and be undetected for weeks. Of course, your relative abroad will want you to think they have it better than you. All refined woman nature is focused on competition. You have to be enlightened to have a mindset directed to cooperation. But life in the West is not a life for the faint-hearted. For the most part, young people in the West have low regard for your age. And if you don't purposely train your children to have respect for their elders, they will turn out like the kids they relate with. Yes, their awareness levels are very high, as it's their IQ, but their EQ can be very low. Their phonetic is on point, but their human re relations is well pointless. And if you are the type that looks down on your culture and language, you will produce self-loathing children abroad, who automatically look down on any African with an accent. Their disdain grows when the African speaks their native language. Disneyland is often tortured as the happiest place on earth, but that is not exactly true. It is the most exciting place on earth and it gets you carried away as you are overwhelmed by floods of pleasant memories. But as exciting as it is, it is not as happy as Africa. Think of parties in Nigeria and were treated as special guests and showered with unconditional love. Think of visiting relatives and how they literally killed the fattened chicken or goat just to welcome you. Remember how you gathered around newspaper vendors as a member of Free Readers Association. Cast your mind back to how you used to run to the door or gate shouting, Daddy, oh, yo, yo. Let the rivalry between Chief Commander Ebenezer Obey and King Sonyade on the other hand. And that between Elijah Agba, Sikira and the Barista, and Ayinla Collins him, bring back memories. Recall how your Muslim neighbors brought Ilea food for you, a Christian. Life in Nigeria was sweet. It is still a delight. Thank you for listening. I will see you again in the next one. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. Bye.